everybody. First little mini trip in the truck camper. We're gonna do our full uh, first overnight trip. First full overnight trip uh, this Friday. Me and my wife's anniversary, <laughs> wedding anniversary, five years. And uh, she said that she wants to try out the truck camper. So she's super cool for that. But I'm gonna do my first little cooking adventure in it today. We got a little friend along for the ride. I'll show you who that is in a minute. Um, yeah, just going to a little park near me. I'm gonna try cooking some lunch up for me and my friend here. And, um, you know, just see how that goes. See what kind of space we're working with. Uh, what I, see what I forgot to bring, because I'm sure there's something. Um, I don't think I have utensils. Like, I had this little pack of, like, four plates and then four sets of spoon, fork, knife. I don't know where it is, so hopefully it's in one of these boxes that I have in the back, but I'm not really sure that it is. So uh, I do think I have some like like prepackaged stuff. There's a, like a pizza place near us, and they always give us like plates and like packaged fork, spoons, and knives. So I always take them when I can, when they have them, um, because stuff like this just throw them in the back of the truck and never know when they'll come in handy. So I know that I do have those, but anyway, yeah, we're gonna try cooking some rice and beef up for me and my buddy and see how that goes it did just start raining which you know could be kind of cool because i've never laid in the back of the truck yet while it's raining and it's I, I guess technically it's a fiberglass cap but it's like hard so i'm assuming you're gonna still hear that like ting ting of the uh of the rain hitting the roof so that might be peaceful and relaxing might fall asleep hopefully not gotta go pick my daughter up soon but just wanted to make a quick little video of taking it out for my first little cooking trip so this is my little friend by the way say hi Sydney say hi Sydney is a six-year-old border collie German short hair pointer mix actually she's mixed with a bunch of different stuff but they uh, we got one of those little DNA test things done on her and said that those were her majority breeds so she looks like a border collie. We were told she's a border collie Australian Shepherd mix, so that's what we went with for a while. But um, Australian Shepherd didn't get reported in her DNA. It said that there was like some undisclosed percentage of herding breed dogs, so I'm assuming she probably does have a little bit of Australian Shepherd in her. But <clears throat> wasn't what they said anyway. So there she is, gazing out the window. She loves going for rides. She loves playing ball. She loves playing ball. <laughs> And she knows the word too. On the road again. You can see we got some storm clouds. Looks like it's probably gonna start. Looks like it's coming towards me. Looks like I'm driving into it right now. Um, the rain droplets have kind of like stopped, but I'm sure it's gonna pick up here any second now. And yeah, we're gonna be. Looks like we're gonna be cooking in the rain. So that should be pretty fun. I was gonna set up my little camera outside and like cook everything on a tailgate but i think it might be cooking inside today all right here we are at this little park uh, not too far from my house super pretty here let me roll down this window so you can see some of these flowers they're actually kind of starting to like dry up now i use so i don't know if i've said this on this channel or not yet but i'm a photographer that's what i do for a living um and this is a spot that i definitely have been using a lot this year, uh, last couple years, I've been using it a lot, but this year it's really pretty. There's a new spot, like not too far from here where there's like a whole bunch of beautiful wildflowers, like rainbow colored wildflowers. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is a spot that I use quite frequently for photo shoots and it's a public place. Um, so there's, I've been seeing more and more people coming here. It's like a little trail down here. I don't even know where this goes. Maybe I should, follow this back and see where um yeah we're gonna go back this a little bit and uh see where it goes <clears throat> never been back here before actually i just did two photo shoots here last night which is pretty cool i don't usually use this little road to uh to shoot on oh that's cool huh that might be nice for All right, what is up everybody? We are out here in the meadow. Sid, come here. Come a little dog. I did find her a little ball. I don't have a tennis ball for her, but I did find one of these little splash balls. I can only throw it like two feet. But 
it'll keep her busy. Um, it's starting to rain now. I suspect it's probably going to start raining pretty heavy in a minute, but we're going to start camping on here. We might close everything up and take it all inside here. And if we do, then I'll just show you that part too. But uh, yeah, we're just making some of this. These are great. They're like a dollar. Nor little rice packs. They have all different flavors. They have like Alfredo's and butter flavors, chicken flavors. So this one's chicken flavor. And contradictory to that, we're doing roast beef. So I'm just gonna mix these two together. I'm gonna heat this up. And I'm just gonna pour this in and let this kind of be heated up by the, uh, the rice. So let me throw the ball for Sid real quick. Sid, come on. Here she goes. We have light. All right, so these are pretty simple. Two cups of water, bring to a boil. Cover this up, help it boil a little faster. And I think, it doesn't say to cover it. So actually, I probably didn't need this, aside from to help it boil a little bit faster. There we go. So we'll just let that chill. Alrighty, so we got it cooking now. Uh, I didn't say to cover it. I usually do cover any type of pasta when I'm cooking it, but I didn't say to, so I'm not. Stir it every once in a while. Let that cook for a bit. Play with the old doggo. Pretty flowers out here. All different colors, purple. There's like some orange ones and white ones over there. And there's a Sydney dog. Give me that ball. Give me that ball, girl. Out, good girl. Here, I'll walk over here and show you these pretty flowers while she's anxiously waiting. Oh, your good girl. <laughs> orange ones. Sid, come on. Oh yeah, she listens super well too. Most of the time. All right, so we are all done cooking at this point for the noodles. Something just touched my foot. It was a flower. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this beef up. Please don't tip over. Me and my dog be very upset if we don't have to eat because obviously you can look at me and tell that I like to eat. My dog does too. She just exercises a lot more than me. She's eating right now. Oh yeah. Yep, I think this is going to be pretty good. Alright, so yeah. Bone apple teeth. Got my chicken noodles and beef. Let's, uh, let's give it the old taste test. Hopefully it doesn't burn my mouth off. The one dude I like watching on YouTube, he's always eating shit and there's like 100 pounds of steam rolling off of it. So I don't know how he does that. <clears throat> my wife be doing the same thing. I like my shit a little lukewarm. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Sorry for smacking in the camera. Yeah, that's good. Could be a little warmer. I probably could have heated it up a little bit longer, but I like it. Um, you know, for a, a six dollar or five or six dollar little meal, not too shabby. And I bet you anything, that one right there is gonna love it. She said, That's lame, dad. Do it again. Try it again. It's gonna love it. So it is raining now. So we have switched to in cat mode. Sydney loves her bed. And she's about to love this food I'm about to give her. Yeah, this is a nice little setup, man. I really like it. 
Oh, thirsty girls. Oh, your thirsty girls. Is that good stuff? There you go. Oh, hey, get your tongue out of there. That's what she said. My bad. This is not a kid-friendly YouTube channel, so I can say what I want, I guess. <clears throat> there you go, girl. Eat it up. Eat it. Look. Come on. I'm going to <clears throat> If she didn't eat it, y'all be like, you're lying to me, dude. The dog won't eat it. It's got to be pretty terrible. It's, uh, it's pretty good, though. I like it. Hopefully I can get some of the, the rain. I would really love to like sit in here with these windows open and like watch the wind blowing the little flowers and everything. Hey, I'm gonna be getting food all over my bed. Our bed. Yeah, that'd be really cool one to be able to see if the like the raindrops are bouncing off the roof and all that kind of stuff. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. Y'all done already? She said yeah. Now you shut your mouth and you eat yours. Stop talking. Sydney. Paul? Good girl. Alright, very cool. So lunch was good. Views were great. Got to spend some quality time with my little dog here. All right, you want to get out and play ball? You want to play your ball? Play ball outside? With your ball? Are you going to jump? Don't do it. Don't jump. Here, let me put the tailgate down for you at least. <clears throat> this is another thing I'd like to figure out eventually is that there is so for the down part i know you can get the like oh shoot earthquake i know you can get the easy down tailgate little hinges or whatever they are um but i don't know that there's an easy way to get them up to my knowledge like when i want to get in here and like close everything up kind of have to like reach over that thing and pull it up and it's kind of i mean i'm a pretty strong dude but it's kind of heavy so i don't know if there's something for that or not but might be something to look into. I guess I should show you guys kind of what my little setup in here is really like to deal with. Um, it'll be something that's... I gotta charge that, by the way. That's dead, so that's not doing anything. <coughs> oh. My daughter was in here the other day. It looks like she left some stuff out of my little boxy. <coughs> These things are cool. Tackle boxes are freaking awesome for, like, putting all kind of little shit in. So let me get, yeah, um, anyway, this situation here, not too bad. Uh, it was free. Well not, well, not free, I guess, but it was cheap. I didn't have to build anything. Um, but let me just show you kind of <clears throat> how I deal with everything, where I keep all my stuff and all that. So yeah, this is my situation for like getting stuff out, putting stuff back right now is, so I've got my little bed here. And these are my boxes. So I've got them all strapped in with bungee cords. Um, I could just take it out and make it easier, slide all this out, but I think it's just as easy. So none of this stuff is hot, right, that I'm putting in here. I don't want a fire in the back of my truck as I'm riding down the road, that'd be crazy. What the heck is this for? Oh, that's right, okay, so my little cooking, what are they called? Not pans. What the heck are they called? Saucepan? I don't know. Anyway, um, can't think of it right now, but yeah, pots. <laughs> right, pots. They're dirty. So this is just going to go in here because I know where it's at. That's where my food stuff is. I'm terrible about losing stuff, but that's where it should go normally. And I'll wash the dishes and then put them back and then that'll be there. Right. I think that's all I had out. <clears throat> so yeah, just lock these bad boys up it's kind of a pain to like reach in there but i can always just you know pull them out if i need to and then bed sets right back there and yeah i need a fitted sheet it'd be a lot easier to deal with than all this hangover oh <laughs> and there's the problem with a setup like this because i just got done putting everything back i left that out and if i don't put it away now uh, I probably won't finish it finish it for me guys if i don't finish it now if i don't put it away now i probably won't put it away Ugh. yeah see this is this is the only issue with it this little system is getting your fingers in there 
don't really want to, have to take the whole thing apart and pull it out. All right, so hopefully there's nothing else that I forgot. Slide that back, boom, boom, just like new. And I can just uh, come out here and relax. Watch my little pup pup, Sydney. What you doing, girl? Here's your good dog. Oh, you're a good dog. Look at that little ball in your mouth. Come up here. Come up here. Woo! Good girl.